Test. Ah, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning session of your prayers said aloud, your concerns, your heartfelt concerns said aloud in the privacy of your own home doing stretching exercises that heal your body while your prayers heal your mind, your spirit, and your soul. So we will begin with my prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who finally put it in a book form, Sacred Heart Yoga. I thank all of them with all my heart. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. <clears throat> Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul to the fulfillment of my destiny. in service to your love, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fear as I rejoice in your kingdom of the heaven and your love of me, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments that I share. With my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Um. <clears throat> now we're going to try to, it's called clear our energy fields. It's clear our minds of fear. Fear is the enemy of love, loving God, loving people, loving others, other children of God. <clears throat> you cannot be terrified of somebody sitting there holding a gun to your head and love them. It just cannot happen physically in our, our, our makeup. So we must release our fears. We must know that God will handle them and that there is nothing to be afraid of. And, and this is, we do this twice in Sacred Heart Yoga. <clears throat> Here, we're going. if you'll repeat after me, we do a motion with our hand. We take our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position, move it over to the um, 3 o'clock position, right side of our bodies, over to our right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I clear my energy field. 
of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O God. Om. Now, we begin the rest of the prayers, I'll just say, and our prayers begin with, <clears throat> and you should fill them in, repeat what I say, just the beginning words, and then... Um, Fill them in with your own heartfelt concerns. Uh, end it with your own heartfelt concerns. I'll give you, I don't know, somewhere around 10 seconds to go through and come up with what, what you want to pray aloud. And so here we take our, we're going to ask God, how may we serve you? Or how may we serve you this day? How may I serve you? Because it's our individual prayers. So we'll ask God, how may I serve you? And the answer comes to me in no more than one or two words. And often I have no idea, no clear understanding of what the one or two words means. And sometimes uh, it's a heartfelt feeling and, and sometimes it's nothing at all. But regardless of what comes to me, I keep repeating it over and over and thinking about it through the rest of the prayers. And always, always, always for me, I get an answer by the time I'm done with my morning prayers. So I hope the same thing for you. <clears throat> so here we take our right hand over our hearts and our prayers begin with. God, how may I serve you this day? Um, now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. <clears throat> we do this by standing straight and tall, put our arms extended at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now, we're going to sing aloud the word Amen three times. This is because in Aramaic, Jesus' tongue, 
a contract or an oath was sealed by saying the word Amen three times. So we're going to sing it aloud, any tune you want, whatever feels right, as loud as you want in the privacy of your own home. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mats and lay down on our backs, getting into what's called resting position, which is our <clears throat> arms at our sides and our legs outstretched. So we begin by pulling our right foot up to our, our right knee up to our chest. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, while we take our right arm straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis in our left arm. This time gets stretched out straight above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for um, now we Take our right foot and point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, 
Now we let our right foot fall out to the right side of our bodies, our knee down to the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms go straight out to the sides from our chest, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, <clears throat> now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our right foot, extend it up over across our bodies, over to the left side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um, now we go back to resting position, and this time we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we hold our left foot in our right hand over on our right thigh. Let our left knee fall down to the mat. And our left arm goes straight above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh Now we switch hands, taking our left foot in our left hand, holding it down near our pelvis. Our right arm gets stretched out straight above our heads once again down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for... Oh. Now we 
take our left foot, point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for um. now we take our left foot and let it fall out to the left side of our bodies, our knee down to the mat, our pelvis open as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest. Palms up and here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left and we take our left foot over across our bodies, over to the right side, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for Um, now we go back to resting position, legs out, stretched arms at our sides. And for a second time, we're going to try to surrender our fears to clear our minds of fear so that we can love God and love other children of God, all of God's creations, but to love all of God's creations and God, we must remove our fears. And so here, a second time, we're going to surrender our fears to God. So we take our legs are outstretched, our, we put our hands under our sit bones, lean forward on our elbows, and try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. 
And here our prayers begin with. God, I surrender to you. Um. Now we go back to resting position and we reach for the heavens with our left hand and let it fall over to the right side of our bodies, over to our our right shoulder above it. And (coughs) excuse me. And we take our left hand holding our between our No, we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and stretch our left elbow and back, I mean our left shoulder and back farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I choose to. Um. Now we take our right hand and reach up for the heavens and let it fall over to the left side of our body, stretching our right shoulder and back. Take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our back farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can. Um. Now we go back to resting position. Arms at our sides or legs outstretched and we pull both feet up to our pelvis down on the mat and we let our knees fall out to the outside, forming a triangle below our bodies. This is a tabernacle, a house of God below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle above our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this house of God, Above our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice bubbling over, brimming over with anything we could ever desire, want, or need to be in service of God without fear. And we can get any of these gifts as long as, and we'll keep them, as long as we use them in service to God. As soon as we start using them in service to ourselves, our egos, our our monetary financial gain, we're going to lose them. God doesn't 
care about that stuff. God cares about love and loving all his children. So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um. Now we're going to Take our hands still in prayer position, right at the tops of our heads, down to the mat. Let our elbows fall out to the sides, forming a tabernacle of a house of God above our whole bodies. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for healing my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul. Um. Now we're going to start what's called the anointing series. It's it's four prayers that, that we repeat. <clears throat> and during the whole anointing series, all four prayers as we repeat them too, we keep our hands in prayer position. We begin by touching our thumbs to our foreheads, our hands in prayer position, and our first prayer begins with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and hands in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them in your service your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down in prayer position over our hearts.
And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock position down over our pelvis, extending our hands out in like the arms of a clock. And then we move them counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position towards the heavens. And then down above our heads, down to the mat at the nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of um, now I messed that one up. So we're going to do it again, point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. <clears throat> As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we start over the second round of the anointing series. And we start with our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless, and I will only use them in your service, your gifts to me of
Um. <clears throat> now we take our hands down over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our arms out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. <clears throat> As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position. Cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, and our prayers begin with God. I truly thank you for always protecting me, for always keeping me safe. Um. <clears throat> now we roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Now we extend our right leg straight out in front of us, right knee down to the mat. Our left foot goes across our right knee, and we hold our left knee with our right arm, and our left arm goes behind our backs for support. And here our prayers begin with, desire I am, Desire I am, desire I am. God, in your name, I desire to.
Um, <clears throat> now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm and our right arm goes behind our backs for support. And here our prayers begin with, will I am, will I am, will I am. God, in your service, I will Um, now we get up on our knees. <clears throat> we put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for Um, now we form a small tabernacle with our hands, putting the tips of our thumbs together and the tips of our first fingers together. As we do this, we put our tabernacle formed with our hands down on the mat in front of us, and we lean over in child's pose and put our foreheads in this tabernacle. And here we just take a moment to feel God's love filling the world around us, God's truth all around us being everywhere, and God filling every cell in our bodies. Um, <clears throat> now we go back to sitting position. This time we extend our right leg out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh, our right knee down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your service, I will become.
Om. <clears throat> now we extend our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God, in your service, I am Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall, we put our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers. And with our back straight and tall, we bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. <clears throat> now we sit back up straight and tall a second time. And here we bow forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O God my true father, my true mother, the oneness, the one in love. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall and feel where we're grounded to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of love entering our bodies, filling our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. God's white light of love fills our abdomens, our hearts, our lungs, our arms to our fingertips, fills our throats, our minds. And it goes out the tops of our heads, high, high, high into the sky above us, and it expands out around the whole earth and rains down God's white light of love on every living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's blue light of truth, of knowing, of wisdom. And it fills every cell in our legs to the tips of our toes. God's blue light of truth fills every cell in our abdomens, our hearts, our lungs, our arms to our fingertips, our throats, our minds. And it goes out, The God's blue light of truth goes out above the out at the tops of our heads, high up into the sky above us, and expands out around the whole earth and rains down God's truth on every living creature for them to accept or reject. 
Now we can step up into the light above our heads, ask anything we want, stay as long as we want. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>